Today in our reading plan, we're on Matthew chapter 2. Now, yesterday in chapter 1, we were introduced to the genealogy of Jesus, and Joseph and Mary were told that they would have a child. Of course, it was from the Holy Spirit, and uh, and that they were to name him Jesus. And so in chapter 2, now we're going to pick up on the story, and it says that Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of a king named Herod. And about that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem, asking, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. Now, there are shades here of the nativity scene that you might put out on Chris, at Christmas time. But just notice, as you read this, uh, some of the stuff that we celebrate at Christmas is really more made up. Um, some of it does come from Matthew or Mark or Luke or John, the four Gospels, but some of it is just tradition and is made up. So I'll, maybe I'll put a link below for more on that, uh, the real Christmas story. But as you read this for yourself, you're going to scroll down and you're going to notice, uh, let's go down here to verse 13. It says, After the wise men were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. And he said, Get up. Remember, they were in Bethlehem. And he said, Flee to Egypt with the child and his mother and stay there until I tell you to return because Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. And so that night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother, and they stayed there until Herod's death. And this fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet in the Old Testament. I called my son out of Egypt. Okay, so he, and you can see the link there. So he was born in Bethlehem, and then he ends up in Egypt for a certain time. And then we're going to see uh, a little bit later now, he's going to finally, after Herod dies, um, So a little bit later in Jesus' childhood, um, God speaks again to Joseph and he says, you can get up now, take the child and his mother back to the land of Israel because those who were trying to kill the child are dead. And I just want to point out here, and if you're following this reading plan, if you watch the video from the Bible Project uh, on the first section of Matthew, you'll notice just some of the uh, similarities between the story of Jesus and the story of Moses from the Old Testament. You know, in in Egypt, out of Egypt, Moses, you know, was uh, a rescuer for the people of Israel, and he goes out of Egypt. So there are a lot of parallels there, and the Bible Project video does a good job explaining that. So I encourage you, if you haven't watched that one in the playlist, make sure to go and watch that particular video, um, because we see these overtones. But we're going to notice as we continue to read the book of Matthew that Moses was human, and Moses was a great deliverer but not at all to the extent that Jesus will be, because Jesus is actually God himself. And the deliverance that Jesus brings is true eternal deliverance. So Jesus is really a savior. So Jesus is greater than Moses. We're going to learn that more and more as we continue to read. But for now, you're ready to read Matthew chapter 2, and we'll see you tomorrow for chapter 3.